Here we're zooming in on a supernova we covered in the star clusters and supernova chapter of the How Far Away Is It video book. 37 years ago, astronomers spotted one of the brightest exploding stars in more than 400 years, named SN 1987A. It was the first supernova that could be seen with the naked eye since Kepler's supernova was observed in 1604. This new one, radiated with the power of 100 million suns for several months following its discovery. A 10-second burst of neutrinos, observed just before the supernova, implied that a neutron star or black hole was formed in the explosion. Here's Webb's near-infrared camera image on the left. It highlights the object's central structure. The ring is expanding by several thousands of kilometers per second, that's over a thousand miles per second. The blue region is the densest part of the clumpy ejecta, containing heavy elements, including carbon, oxygen, magnesium, and iron. The bright ring of pearls is the result of the collision of the ejecta with a ring of gas ejected around 20,000 years before the explosion. The top image on the right features the data from the mid-infrared instrument its spectral analysis shows a strong signal due to ionized argon and weak lines of ionized sulfur from the center of the ejected material that surrounds the original site of the supernova. The bottom image depicts data from the near-infrared spectrograph at shorter wavelengths. It found even more heavily ionized chemicals. Of particular interest is the five times ionized argon that's argon atoms that have lost five of their 18 electrons due to high-energy radiation, illuminating an almost point-like region in the center. The most likely source is believed to be a neutron star because the computed masses are insufficient for producing a black hole. The Webb team used the medium-resolution spectrograph mode of the mid-infrared instrument that produces a spectrum at each pixel. This enables analysts to see spectroscopic differences across the object. This is the first time that the effects of high energy emission from the young neutron star have been detected. In this view, we see spots exterior to the ring with diffuse emission surrounding them. These are the locations of supernova shocks hitting more exterior material from the progenitor star. The outer ejecta is illuminated by X-rays from the collision while the inner ejecta is powered mainly by radiation from the neutron star.